G'day and welcome back to the channel. They said putting the turbo on an NA barrel would never last. Five, four, three, two, one. Is go. <laughs> so in January 2020 I did this conversion put a factory turbo set up on my Barra so most of you have already seen the videos of this thing getting built that was in January 2020 not long after I bought this car and it's December 2022, so it's about three years. She's still my daily. I rarely come under here. Um, I do oil changes, check the fluids. Um, so it's a bit grubby. It's due for an oil change at the moment. She's just about click, click over to, I think, 280,000 kilometers. But for reference, I don't know if you can see down there, everything's exactly the same as it was when I built it. Nothing's changed. And to be honest with you, I haven't had to do anything too much. Let's go over what I've actually done to this car since I put the turbo in it. So aside from the obvious maintenance, oil changes, filter changes, um, the only things that I've replaced is the coolant reservoir because it gets hot and I found the original one I had in it um, deformed and warped and I had to replace it so it's had one of those on there it's right near the turbo so really I've been thinking about it but I haven't haven't had to do it and these are really really cheap to buy is putting some heat insulation in there so that's something that I'll probably do maybe at service time and the only other thing I've done to it was replace the gearbox now if you recall the gearbox in it was a little bit lazy and that thing went for about another two years and I just decided you know what let's put a turbo box in it so I bought a turbo box a used one it was supposed to be a good one I think I drove it maybe 3000 k's and I blew it to pieces so at the time I was towing my Pontiac which is just there um, back from Tamworth and I was giving this thing a hard time and I lost drive and it left me stranded on the putty road Um, and what happened was the it sheared the ears off the oil pump in the transmission for the torque converter. I find it funny how the stock box was fine, maybe because it wasn't pushing all the torque through there and it kind of lasted, but um, turbo box, oil pump let go, destroyed the oil pump. So anyway, I sent that gearbox away, had it completely rebuilt, new oil pump, new torque converter, everything. And the thing's fantastic now, it drives really tight. So let's close this bonnet, we'll take it for a spin, hey? Now for reference, I was trying to remember what the kilometres were when I did the turbo. In the dyno video, you can see the dash. So here is the footage from the dyno video showing the kilometres. All right, I wish I could have filmed that, and I couldn't really be there myself. But um, I just picked the car up from the tuner, and um, I'm really, really happy. He is really happy with the tune. He's tuned it according to the way the car is with stock everything else. Um, he's photocopied the dyno sheet for me. Um, he actually got up to 270 kilowatts, um, but in reality, you can actually see that line there, it's quite faint, but it shoots right up here. And then that's the, I think this is the one that we're running with um, here. So that's the gearbox isn't happy, which we thought he's tuned it as best as he could um, but that's when it hits full pressure 100 percent pressure and it just really starts to shoot up so there's a bit of slippage going on here in the mid-range and as you can see now we're about or well, over 40,000 kilometers down the track and i haven't touched this thing it's been fantastic like everything's still here even this cheap little gauge boost gauge so let's fire this up and uh, let's go for a spin Righto, as you can see, I still haven't done nothing with the roof lining. 
still held up by staples it's a pretty standard falcon accessory the old staples in the roof lining another thing i've been meaning to do hey this is my daily i just drive it i've got other cars that i go and have fun with um that i probably care about a little bit more but yeah she just gets me around so i've got myself a new camera set up just recently this is the first video i've done with it um so hopefully it won't go flying everywhere i don't have a mount for it I've been really impressed with this car and like I said it I've had, I had a lot of um, negativity doing this build and people saying it wasn't gonna last um, I think the trick to something like this and I stated it um, in the build video or build videos is I wasn't overdoing it with the um, the boost it's uh, 8 PSI and that's it that's what it stayed at I haven't had a tune since I've done nothing I haven't adjusted anything I've just driven it and you know if you come in here at 12 15 um, you're guaranteed to for something to let go but I've done 40,000 kilometers in this thing and I've driven it every day I give it a gut full when I want to I drive it hard I drive it normally I just drive it how I want to drive it and it hasn't caused me any dramas whatsoever. It's due for a major service now, which I was thinking, oh, I could do a video, I could do a video of me washing the car, I could do a video of me changing the spark plugs and the oil and the filters and stuff like that. That's boring. We just want to get into the nuts and bolts of this thing and see how she goes. Hey, if you want to watch me do a service on my car, I can, but I just don't think it's good content. Thing still absolutely hammers <laughs> oh it's so good it doesn't get old it honestly doesn't get old I thought I'd be bored with the power and I'd be wanting to rebuild it I do have some extra bits and pieces to chuck in this to make this a decent horsepower engine but I haven't needed to my plan has always been to buy myself another block and rebuild a complete new engine um, set up for more boost and I'll probably get around to it one day now I've got the gearbox that can handle it um, I probably will, but then you're going to start breaking diffs and other stuff. So, like I said, this has just been super, super reliable. I've towed cars all across the east coast of Australia. Apart from blowing that um, oil pump, this thing's been fantastic. I recently took it up to the Gold Coast and picked up my 57 Chevy. There was no issues there. And she just cruised at 110 the whole time. thing about this thing too I've kept it as an absolute sleeper still got the stock wheels on it it's not lowered it just looks like a council ute and people get the shock of their lives when you line up a set of lights and you just blow them away especially in these little uh, rice burners that people drive around in with all the spoilers and all the noise it, uh, they don't stand a chance against the big barra it's unreal the only giveaways is the old uh, chop fingers and the go fast bit sticker and of course the inner cooler hanging out the bottom I'd love to leave you with a big smoky burnout normally do them in my driveway it is a school night people walking their dogs not a good time to do it the other times I've done it has always been like on a weekday when no one's home kind of deal not happening today and it would be very immature of me <laughs> I've been getting asked quite a bit, how's the old barrier going, is it still going, all that kind of stuff. Um, should I build one? You should build one. It's, like I said, just don't go over the top with your boost and you will have an awesome beast to drive around in. Um, you go, you over boost it, you're going to break it, as simple as that. And I've done 40,000 Ks in three years and had the time of my life and she's still going and there's no reason why it won't. I think. 
what's going to eventually happen is just going to get worn out and you're going to start getting blow by, it's going to start blowing smoke out the back. Um, and guess what? Barrow motors are still cheap, especially NA ones. So, yeah, do it. Don't be scared. You've got nothing to lose, really. Especially with the price of them these days, they're just gone through the roof. Turbo ones, even non turbo stuff. But if you own one and you can scrounge the bits together, I recommend it highly. Go for a stock setup, police will leave you alone, cap it at 8 pound PSI and you'll have a good reliable jalopy that'll uh, that'll impress, I'm telling you, it'll impress and it surprises a lot of people. She's, um, she's a good thing. So anyway, that's it from me. Stay tuned, be good to your mates, like, subscribe, all that stuff and I'll see you on the next one. Thanks for watching, cheers.